Hey, hope you're doing well. In this video here, we're going to be doing something a little different, actually. Uh, we're going to be playing a game called Stardew Valley. Um, it's a very interesting game. Uh, even if you're a person that isn't really into video games, um, it's pretty simple to understand. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and we'll play a little bit of that. And as we're playing, I'll be speaking. And um, you'll also be able to hear the uh, the clicking from the uh, the mouse and the keyboard, um, as it is a game that uses a mouse and keyboard. Uh, so hopefully you'll get plenty of singles from this video. And um, remember to put a like in it if uh, you do enjoy it, share it and subscribe to the channel if it is your first time here. And, uh, well, that's pretty much that. We'll take things from there. Let's go ahead and, uh, start it on up now, shall we? All right, here we go. Stardew Valley. Hope you enjoy. All right, here we go. Stardew Valley. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll start up a new game. Let's go through the character creation together. Okay, so for a name, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with, hmm, let's go with Farmer John. All right, uh, the farm name. Okay, I've got an idea here, ASMR farm. And uh, for favorite thing... Let's go with that as well. A S M capital M R. All right. Um, so I believe we'll go with a male character. Let's leave it like that. I think that's fine. And, uh, we'll go with, we'll go with a, a cat. Cats are a little less work than dogs. Yeah. So let's go with the cat. Okay, and then here on the side, it looks like we have different types of farms. Okay, uh, we've got a standard farm, a simple plot of land with a large amount of open space to design your farm. Riverland farm, your farm is spread across several islands and scenic river banks. Fish are more common here than usual. Oh, that sounds pretty nice, but spread across islands. That might be a little tough to uh, to travel in between. I'm not sure how that works out. <clears throat> We've got a forest farm. The woods limit your farming space. However, the bounty of the forest is nearly at your doorstep. Okay, and then we have the hilltop farm. A uh, rocky terrain and a winding river make it difficult to design your farm. That one sounds like it's going to be a little tough. And our last one is the wilderness farm. There's plenty of good land here, but beware. At night, the monsters come out. Okay, that one actually sounds a little scary. So I think we'll go ahead and we'll go with the standard farm. Let's do that. Okay, here we go, and we'll let the intro play. Um, I want to mention one thing, though, before we hop into it. If you do enjoy this video, remember to drop a like in it, uh, share it, and uh, leave me a comment if you have any thoughts about it. Let me know in the comments. I'll be reading those. Okay, here we go. Oh, and since we're about to farm, what's your favorite, what's your favorite vegetable and fruit? I'll tell you mine in a minute here. Let's watch the opening. And for my very special grandson, Santa, I want you to have this sealed envelope. He looks like Santa with the beard. And the mustache and the hat. Yeah, Santa in a green outfit. Now listen close. 
Oh, we got an envelope. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now let Grandpa rest. He looks pretty cozy by that fire. Several years later. Smile, you're with Joja. Hey, is that Woody from Toy Story over there? <laughs> that looks a little bit like him. Oh, what happened to that guy in the right? I wonder if he's feeling a little bonely. Get it? Uh-oh, what's, what's going on? Oh, is this the envelope we were given by uh, our grandfather? I think so. I guess it's time. Dear Farmer John, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I would lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy, ASMR Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love. Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Ah, oh, did his grandfather pass away? That's a little sad. I understand what he means, though, about feeling a little out of place. That happens sometimes. Oh, okay, it looks like we're on the bus going to Stardew Valley now. We're on our way there. Hmm, little birdie landing on the sign. And here we are. Hello, you must be Farmer John. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. Oh, that's nice of him. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. So this is it, home sweet home. This is ASMR farm. Oh wow. <laughs> What's the matter? I don't know if he's thinking what I'm thinking, but it looks like it's kind of a mess right now. All these trees and bushes and rocks. Yeah. Let's see what they say. Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's still some good soil underneath that mess. Oh boy. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. I think it'll take a lot of dedication for this. <laughs> and here we are, your new home. Oh, 
Ah, the new farmer. Oh, okay, so this is the mayor. Welcome, I'm Louis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Looks like a pretty nice house. Rustic. That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. But what is she trying to say? <laughs> Rude. I never. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Farmer John. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Ah, oh, sneaky Robin here. Sneaky, sneaky. Hmm. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. And it looks like they're both off now. Rise and shine. Okay, it looks like the game's saving there. Alright, so, Monday morning. How do we move? W-A-S-D... Shift this to run, and gotcha, okay. So it looks like we have some tools up here. We've got an axe. Alrighty. Okay, for water. Um, to break stuff. Used to break stones. Used to dig until soil, and we've got a scythe. It'd be cool if you could get, like, a Grim Reaper outfit to go along with the scythe. Halloween's right around the corner, too. Oh, okay. Six, fifth, oh wow, time is flying on by. Okay. Let's see here. Energy. Oh, what's that? How do we pick it up? Oh, right click. Parsnip se seeds. You receive 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Oh, what a nice guy. He gave us some some seeds here to start off our farming. Awesome. Uh oh. Was I not supposed to pick that up? <laughs> Whoopsie, let's put that back. Yeah, let's put that back. Okay. So a journal. Let's check that out. Oh, and let me not forget, I did ask what was your favorite fruit and vegetable? Um, yeah, let me know what your favorite fruit and or vegetable is in the comments. My favorite fruit, I, I really like peaches, and um, I also had a time when I really liked pears. Th those are pretty good. Um, that's for fruits. Now, for vegetables, this may sound a little odd. I, I don't think too many people are into it, but I kind of like broccoli. Broccoli is pretty nice. Yeah, I'm a fan of the broccoli. Cauliflower is cool too. Cauliflower is a vegetable, right? I, I I believe so. It's like broccoli, except it's not green. All right, let's see here. Getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil. Then use a seed packet on the till soil to sow a crop. Okay, so first things first, we must till the soil, plant the seeds, and then water every day until the crop is ready to for harvest. 
So cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Okay. And let's check out the introductions. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Two of 28 people greeted. Wow, quite a few people to greet, huh? Well, let's, uh, let's get started on greeting people. I mean, we could also put down one parsnip or all of the, oh boy, this land. We'd have to make some space for a parsnip, wouldn't we? Parsnip, uh, plants. Yes, we would. Well, it's 8 a.m. All right, let's do a little bit of work here. We'll make some space. We'll plant our seeds, and uh, if we have some time left over, or maybe around three, yeah, around three, oh, oh boy, time's going. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hey, we got some seeds and fiber. All right, there we go. By the way, if the mic is picking up uh, any kind of extra noise other than uh, me speaking and the keys, it's probably coming from uh, somewhere outside. I believe I can hear some kids out there right now. And uh, the occasional car from time to time, the loud ones. The loud ones do pass by sometimes. A lot of people like to drive... Uh, trucks where I live, like uh, pickup trucks, and a lot of them are actually pretty loud. Okay, let's see, will this work for the wood? Oh, perfect, the axe works for the wood. Oh boy, it looks like this stuff is filling up our inventory here. Plant them and see what grows. Okay, so we'll be able to put those back down. Raw material, and... A wide variety of uses. Okay. Hey, it's a miniature tree. Oh, okay. There we go. We got it. All right, we're going to have to get rid of some of these rocks. I think the pickaxe might work on these. There we go. There's a lot here. I think this should be good for now, though. Yeah, this should be enough for 15, right? Let's see, it's 11.10 right now. Okay, let's just do a tiny bit more clearing, and then we'll plant our stuff. Hey, you can use the axe on the, uh, the bushes as well. I actually like this tiny tree. I'm going to keep this one here for now. I think you can also press the numbers in order to select. Oh, you can. Okay. All right. Now let's make some uh, some room here. Wait, what do we have to do? We have to dig and till the soil. Okay, let's do that. Okay, that's four, I believe. Five, six, actually, let's leave some space in front of the uh, doorway. Okay, here we go. Mm-hmm. Okay, we are tilling the soil. Let's make a rectangle. Okay, that looks good. Actually, let's go down one more row. Okay, I think this should be enough for now. Now we plant our seeds, right? Now we plant our seeds. Okay. 
Hey. That's pretty easy to put them down. Oh, and we're out of seats. Huh. Okay, maybe a little more than needed there, huh? Well then, I guess that's that for now. Um, we probably have to water it too, right? Well, our can already has some water, so... Okay, here we go. And hey, perfect time. It's almost 3 p.m. I said around 3 p.m. I think we'd head out and meet uh, the townsfolk. All right, refill that before we go. Aren't we supposed to have a cat? Hmm, I wonder what happened with that. Well, the, here's, here's a bowl. I'll put some water in there. Is there one in the house as well, or...? Uh, no, looks like that's it pretty much. Okay. Don't worry, the sun will dry that up. Okay, so I'm guessing we can put our wood in here that we've got in. Let's put that in there, and... <clears throat> also our coal. Okay, let's get to it. The time is just going on by. It's already four. Huh, did something new pop up? No, it looks like we're good. Alright. Hey, here's someone. Hello. Harvey, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Alright, we know who to see if... If we need some fixing up. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Is there anything else, or is that... Okay, it looks like that's that. Alright. Hmm, the energy bar is going to... Oh boy, that looks pretty low. It's... Okay, we still got time though. I think it actually gets dark at night. Oh, wait a minute, he's out right now. Okay, so the doctor... Looks like here is his office. Or the hospital. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Hey, Sam. Who's that? Hello, it's nice to meet you. Wait, I thought we were talking with Sam. <laughs> it seems like she wants to talk. Leah. <clears throat> you picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Does Sam not want to speak anymore? <laughs> mm, I think the two of them might be busy right now. Doesn't look like they really want to talk. Okay. Let's see here. What is this? Oh, it's a calendar. Oh, what a... Oh, the mayor's birthday is on the 7th. Vince is on the uh, 10th. Egg festival. Hey, this is pretty cool. Now now we know when it's people's birthday and what's going on. Gotta keep an eye on this calendar. Okay, there's like, yeah, like a bulletin board here in front of this place. Pierre's. Huh, what does this say? Doesn't look like we can... Hey, there's a guy down there. Let's talk with him. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Huh, not really a friendly guy here, huh? Okay, what about this one? Oh, hey, so you're the new guy. Huh? Cool. I'll see you around. Well, he was a little more friendly. That other guy, though, not too friendly. Oh, okay, looks like we're in a shop right now. Are those potatoes? Potatoes are, like, awesome. <laughs> you know what? I think my favorite vegetable... Potatoes are a vegetable, right? Yeah, I like potatoes. 
Oh my gosh, potatoes are awesome. You can have them so many ways. Alright, let's see, who's this guy? Oh hey, I think this is the owner of the shop, Pierre. Yeah, it's named after him. Uh, hey, it's Mr. Farmer John, the new farmer. Oh my gosh, what did I do with the name? <laughs> I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. <clears throat> if you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Alrighty. A little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. Alright, well we know where to buy stuff and where to sell stuff. If we need to do either of those. Backpack upgrade, 24 slots. 2,000, wow, that's a little expensive. Looks like we only have 500, so maybe later. Oh, I see, that's the backpack right there. I thought that was the register. Oh, the shop might be closed. Okay, Ted, come back when he's tending to the shop. All right, let's see what's going on back here. Abigail. Hmm, okay, well, we need to meet Abigail. Is she Abigail? No, her name is Caroline. Hello, you must be Farmer John. The new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hello, Caroline. My husband runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. I don't think we've met her yet. I think we'd remember purple hair. Hmm. Okay, let's look around. Where could Abigail be? What is this? An altar. Oh, okay. Hmm. Is that a picture? Doesn't look like we can check it out. Hey, it looks like those are the different types of farms. Huh. Alright, let's talk with Pierre one more time before we head out. To Mr. Pierre. It pains me to be the bearer of bad news, but I feel obligated to inform you of a recent development most threatening to your livelihood. Joja Co. has decided to expand into Pelican Town. It's too late for protest. Joja builders have already broken ground for the new Joja Mart. This must be devastating news for you. So many years in business. A local standby, and now obscured by the shadow of a powerful, efficient, economically viable corporation. What a shame. As manager of the new Joja Mart, I feel to some degree personally responsible for your predicament. As such, I'd like to offer you a position as assistant grocer, wages start at 5 G an hour. Is that a lot or is that a little bit? I mean, the bag costs 2000 Hmm. Not sure. I look forward to seeing your resume. Mr. Morris, manager. Pelican Town, Joja Mart. Looks like he might put Pierre out of business. Hmm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if, if that's a lot or a little bit that he's offering to pay him. I guess we have to wait to see what his prices are like when the shop is open to, to find out, to have an idea. Okay. Oh wow, it's getting pretty late now. Okay, I think it might be time to turn in. Yeah, it is getting really, really late. Okay. Let's go turn in. It's not too safe being out after dark. It's pretty dark. Good thing we have a lot of lighting, though. Wow, the trail to our house is really dark. <laughs> I think we'll be fine, though. Alright, the plants look... They look good. 
we'll see what happens uh, tomorrow. Okay, let's call it now. 9.30, not a bad time to call it. Actually, let's get a little bit of TV. In. Oh, oh, whoopsie, I moved the TV. No! <laughs> Can we get a little bit of TV in before... Uh... Hmm, let's check it out. The weather report. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Oh, awesome. That sounds nice. Whoopsie, I keep moving the TV. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Catch a little bit more TV and then we'll call it. Fortune teller. Welcome to Wellwake's Oracle. The only show where the voice of the spirits is channeled directly to you. The spirits feel neutral today. This day is in your hands. Alright, sounds good. Whoopsie, moving the TV again. And last but not least, living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's from all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Oh, not much time passed while we're here. But yeah, it's 10 o'clock now. I think it's time for us to call it for the night. Let's go ahead and turn on it. Alrighty. Well then, nighty night. You know, I think we'll uh, we'll also go ahead and call it at that um, for this one. Yeah. So if you did enjoy the video, remember to uh, put a like in it and uh, share it around. Let me a comment down below. Any thoughts you may have? And uh, subscribe to the channel. Alrighty. Well then, I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Till then, I hope you have a good one. And, uh, well, we did some farming today, so happy farming to you. Alright, bye now.